We have learned more in the past decade from genetics than a century of digging up bones. A whole new frontier has opened up. We have our first genetically modified hybrid. We just went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea. The wall's 40 feet high. Really think she climbed out? Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab. You guys are a wee bit younger than me, uh, but for me, Jurassic Park was like one of the most influential films of my childhood. Was it something you guys were into before getting the role, or did you do your research? No, no. you know, I love Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I was a baby, so. Yeah, me too. Um, I've been a fan of this series um, long before I ever, you know, was an actor, and um, uh, it's it's been a part of my life for, for a while. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's such a good movie. It's, you know, it's really entertaining, and I, there's a reason why people like it so much. Yeah. So then, knowing about that legacy and being a fan of it, when you guys knew you were going to do a sort of spin recreation in the gyrosphere, <laughs> What was your reaction to that, and like, did you feel the pressure of that? I actually didn't realize that it was like the scene uh, from the original until I actually watched the movie, and then I was like, wait a minute, that looks that's similar. similar. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I I agree with Ty. I mean, it was uh, there's always there was always a kind of um, sense of responsibility, um, I guess, because I mean, it is I, such a um, well loved franchise, and so. Um, I don't think we ever, it was never lost on us that we were making something that um, people would, you know, people really uh, have, has a special place in their hearts. So Colin made sure that we carried the torch over to this one. And, um, and so there was always a, a, a vibe that we were making something uh, worthwhile. And you guys got to, you know, get up in there with the dinosaurs a lot. And yeah. He, Colin talked about he really tried to keep some of that actual puppetry and things that the actors could interact with as opposed to going full CGI. What was your experience like working with that part of the film? Um, well, the raptors were uh, dancers. played by yeah professional dancers who uh, were in full body suits and they had a raptor head um, on top. It was kind of like a bicycle helmet with a snout and um, uh, so that was, you know, that was pretty fun because then you're actually, you get to react a little bit more and just, you know, you can, more imagination comes into play. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really help out with the fear factor, but it's just nice <laughs> to have something to look at. Yeah. Uh, but the dancers were really nice, you know, like, they, they were, uh, they were really fun. Actually, when, uh, when they, uh, when the movie came out, they, or they, they got their own premiere, like a New Orleans crew premiere. So they all sent me a video after, so like, and uh, it was really nice. They're saying that Nick and I did a really good job, and it, it, it was really nice. They're, they're, they're great guys. Do you guys have, looking back on the filming, was there a moment or a night shoot or any time that you think back and you're like, I can't believe I did that, or just something that really stands out in your memory? Um, uh, well, yeah, the T Rex, the T Rex sequence with like the, the Indominus T Rex fight. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Actually, that shot where we're running through the buildings and then out into the, to the, main area. That was on a motorcycle. They drove a motorcycle with a camera on it through a convenient like a, a, a store, and out into the main street. Yeah, that That's was pretty cool. crazy. Um, also the. Uh, uh, this, the scene where we are, um, where we jump off the waterfall and where we get to drive the original Jurassic Park Jeep, that was pretty, that was pretty cool. You know, Colin was handpicked to direct this massive sequel to a very beloved franchise. Now he's been handpicked to do it again <laughs> with Star Wars. Yeah. What do you guys think, having worked with him as a director, makes him the right guy to take on those kind of legacy projects? I think it's his love for the uh, projects or for the for the legacy itself. Um, he definitely grew up on both of these films and has such a passion and and uh, and just memories and um, a real personal touch to what he does. So I think that's that's what he really brings to the table is his um, 
his calm, cool demeanor and his personal touches. Uh, yeah. Every time we've unveiled a new attraction, attendance has spiked. That was awesome. Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. They're dinosaurs. Wow enough. She was designed to be bigger than the T-Rex. What happened to the sibling? She ate it.